Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Cooking Lessons at Shelter Harbor. Today we're going to do a whole roasted side of salmon. This is a really nice item if you're having a party. Uh, it'll set up on a platter, set it on the counter. It eats great uh, if it's still pretty hot, or even warm, or even room temp. Uh, when the salmon is roasted whole, it stays really moist. It's a very friendly fish that a lot of people like, and I like to do it with a slightly spicy uh, citrus ginger glaze. So we've got some ginger, some orange juice, and some uh, red pepper flake, the kind you put on pizza, that I've went ahead and uh, ground in a spice mill. So here we have a whole side of salmon. A word on salmon, uh, a lot of people know how great Wild King salmon is. Wild King salmon from out west is definitely the best salmon. It's also very expensive. It has to fly a long way to get here. Uh, another salmon that we use for price points, if we're not using it for a la carte, sometimes for parties, is uh, we do use a farm-raised salmon. Farm-raised salmons get a bad rap these days, and, and well they should because there's a lot of bad farming practices, but this particular salmon from Foley's Fish, you can even go on Foley's website, is from the Gulf of Maine, and the water is tested, their practices are good. When they test the water, it's 50 to 100 times uh, cleaner than the federal requirements. So it's a really good, healthy piece of salmon, uh, and it's about half the price of uh, Wild King. So here we are with the salmon, and the first thing we're going to need to do, we're just going to go ahead and trim off any of this white fibrous tissue here. We're going to go at a little bit of an angle, so as not to waste too much salmon. And we don't really want too much of the bevel there, so we're going to go ahead and cut it straight. And we can later, if you want, trim out some of the salmon here, and it's a really good snack. Uh, salmon belly like they do in uh, Asian restaurants. Try and get all that fibrous tissue out. Going to give it a nice rounded shape. And I'm happy enough with that. Now on this side, there's a little bit more. I'll take that out. I'm happy enough with that. And we're going to be sure to get this little bit of cartilage that was stuck to the bone and is now uh, on the fillet. So you sort of pinch under that. And that will come off nicely. You want it to be that all that the people eat is nice, tasty salmon and no weird chewy bits. So I got it looking good. You certainly can decide to uh, keep the salmon on the skin when you roast it. I've roasted it on the skin and I've roasted it with the skin off and it eats great either way. The only thing is when you roast it on the skin, uh, there are some people who feel a little bit squeamish because as they eat the salmon chunks off the skin, they still see the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off which is really not too bad. You need a nice straight knife like this. You're going to get to the skin, lay the knife flat, grab the tail, and you're just going to slide right along the skin. And it comes off very nicely. All right, now we're going to uh, transfer the salmon to our roasting pan. First, we're going to take a little bit of oil and just pour it on our, on our pan so our salmon won't stick. And then we're just going to lift up the salmon and lay it on the pan. And we're just going to hit the salmon with a little bit of salt and pepper. And you can be fairly liberal because it is a big piece of fish. Uh, liberal especially with the salt and not so liberal with the pepper. We're going to go ahead and put it in a 350 oven. It's going to be about half an hour, 35 minutes. Next we're going to start on our glaze. 
This salmon's going to be pretty darn delicious, but if we have a nice glaze with it, it's going to be even better. So I've got our little burner set up. I'm turning it on. And this is just short of a quart of orange juice. And this is about two tablespoons of ginger. And a little bit of these red pepper flakes that I've crushed up. And we're just going to let that reduce down. Just going to get that simmering a bit. As that's reducing, we're going to go ahead and get prepared with our slurry. Um, a slurry is a cornstarch water mixture that makes it so that if you add the cornstarch to thicken something up, it won't, uh, it won't clump on you. Now, slurries, to be sure, are not a uh, fancy cooking technique. It's a real sort of homey cooking technique, and we don't use a lot of them at the club. But occasionally, uh, if something's just going to be a glaze and not like a sauce that you're, that you're really eating directly, uh, a slurry can work really well for you. So here we go. We're just going to take a little bit of the water and some cornstarch. And this is going to be more than we need, so we're not going to use it all. Just going to whisk it up. And all we have there is some nice chalky water. All right, so it's been a few minutes and we didn't want to waste your time. So the salmon's been cooking away in the oven and the uh, reduction is going. So everything's happening nicely. We're just going to have a little peek at the salmon and see how it's doing. And it's starting to brown. I use the convection fan if you have one. And it's getting close. Uh, it's been around 20, 25 minutes, so just a little bit longer. All right, our reduction has uh, gone down by about a third to half, which is about where we want it to be. And now we've got our little slurry. And we're just going to go ahead and whisk a little in. And you'll see that's going to do its work quite quickly. See how it's much thicker bubbles there? And that's going to form a nice sticky glaze for our salmon. You could certainly make your glaze ahead of time and then just have it sitting there at room temp. We're just going to put a little bit of it on the salmon in a few minutes. All right, now our salmon should be just about done, but not quite because we're going to give it a little bit of time with the glaze. If we put the glaze on too early, it'll burn. So you want to get the glaze on toward the end of the cooking time. You see how nice that is? And you can be fairly liberal with it because some of it's going to run off. And back into the oven we go. All right, the salmon should be just about ready. It's been about 35 minutes. So I'm going to take it out and check it. And it's got some nice color. And one thing that I've done a lot is you can just sort of peek in between there. And I'm seeing no deep pink. I'm seeing white. A little bit of that sort of milk that comes out of there is also an indicator that it's ready. And uh, salmon eats well at somewhere in the medium rare to medium range. Uh, this whole roasted salmon will eat well, even fully cooked, because uh, it's going to stay moist. All right, now is the sort of tricky part. You have to use these two large spatulas and lift the salmon from the pan to the platter, but it's usually not that bad. Even if it cracks a little bit, you can do a little bit of reassembly. So here we go. Let me get some spatula under there. Spatula under there. Feel like we got it. Lift it to the platter. And you can see right there, you have a really nice buffet item. You could garnish it with some citrus pieces or little bits of greens, or you could serve it pretty much plain, and it's going to eat great. I'm just going to go ahead and cut a little piece out of it, like I would for somebody coming up. And there's their nice piece of roasted salmon. Thanks a lot.